from rapidballast.org and today I'm going to show you a core or six pack ab building exercise that is actually 240% um, more effective than your standard abdominal crunch. Um, and this particular crunch is actually called a bicycle crunch and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So as you'd imagine your normal abdominal crunch is like so. Coming up. Like so, okay. However, what we're going to do is we're going to show you an exercise that is 240% more effective. Okay. You're going to start like so, laying back on the ground flat. Hands want to be behind your head. You do not want to be pulling your head forward, very dangerous. So you just want to lightly have your fingers touching on the back of your head. What's going to happen is you're going to raise one leg, and what is happening is this elbow is going to come up and touch that knee, okay? So it's going to come down, it's going to go up, and I'm going to crunch, control back down. Now I'm going to go up with the other leg, crunch, control back down, okay? But what is going to happen, and we're going to make this even a little bit harder, is these feet are going to stay off the ground like so, okay? You're not going to drop back down, you're going to stay up like so. So I'll give you a demonstration, we're just going to pull out 10 repetitions here, okay, and up, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so, it looked a little bit hard there. Certainly feel that. So, remember the key points once again. If it's too hard for you with your legs up, you can have your legs down. Okay, however, what happens is when your legs are up in the air, you're already contracting your pelvic floor, your lower abdominal muscles, so you're already getting a good workout there. And when you're coming up, you're actually not doing a normal straight up and down crunch, you're actually getting a slight rotation, so we're getting a oblique twist as well. So there you go, 240% um, more effective exercise than your standard normal crunch. Give it a go and uh, leave me a comment below. Thank you.